Welcome to Zootopica, the podcast where everything zoology from latest scientific research to day-to-day -day lives to uh, popular culture meets. I'm Richard Somavira. I'll be your host. I'm a scientist and an explorer, and I'm being joined again by my good friend, Eva Mishta. Hi. Thank you for inviting me to the show again. Super happy to be here. Thank you Continuing again. on our topics. Fantastic questions are coming in. So we are, so um, the first theme, what yep. was it? Uh, the, the beginning of life on earth. We had too many good questions. We got quite a lot of input from the audience and we're continuing on to answer all of the questions that have been submitted. Awesome. awesome. So, so today is a continuation of the same theme. Yep. How life evolved and or how life uh, originated and evolved. And for those of us that are joining us from scratch, if this is the first time that you're tuning in, um, how about we pass over for an introduction so that you can give the, those guys and girls that are dialing in uh, an idea of what all of this is about. Absolutely. So this, uh, this podcast is all about taking zoology, the zoology science, science of the, living, science of the animals, to the general public. Um, so how it's working is I'm posting a theme for each week. Um, so as Eva said, it was beginning of life on yeah. Earth was the first episode. And then you send questions to us through social media, Facebook, Ruchira Somavira. You have the links um, in the caption. to spell, so just check the name underneath. Absolutely. Um, Ru Somavira uh, is the Twitter and Instagram handle. Send us um, all your questions on that theme and we'll compile them and we'll discuss them and tell what the latest scientific research um, tell us about that. Sounds good. So let's continue the questions then. Um, and on the theme of beginning of life on Earth, we had Jaden calling in. Jaden is only eight years old and oh. he wants to be a scientist. Isn't that great? Keep Isn't that passion that cool? going, Jaden. So his question is, is it true that crocodiles and sharks have not changed since they first appeared in the world? And maybe you could tell us when they appeared in the world for the first time, because I have no idea. Wow. Okay. So, so Jaden, uh, to start with, keep that passion going, because your hobby, when your hobby becomes your career, that's awesome. Super awesome. Um, I can't speak much about sharks. Okay. Not I, I know quite a few things about sharks, but yep. not my specialty. Yep. Uh, crocodiles, of course, that's my bread and butter. Um, so crocs, the, the crocodile form is what we call things that looks like crocodilians appeared about so that's we have a specimen right here to so that, that actually okay so just to just to clarify lizards are completely different <laughs> to crocodiles so we come out with I should know what our mascot <laughs> so, is so that's, this is not yeah, the first time we're doing that, the show exactly so that's One a Komodo dragon by the way um <laughs> I thought maybe somehow there was okay, a concept. The, no, this is, this no, is part of the lesson. So, but but like you're, you're right. I mean, a lot of people, because we clump everything as reptiles, yeah, yeah. right? But crocodiles have a completely different evolution. Like they're more related to birds what? than to reptiles. A what? crocodile has more features anatomically, like inside its body and behavior wise, common to a bird than huh. to one of these. That's, That's the beauty of living world. Oh. Yeah, that is cool. So, Jaden, this is the kind of thing that you could be learning about in more detail as you progress in your career, Joy. So, um, so just going back to the question, so it's not actually true that they have not changed, um, but I think this common notion comes from that when you see all these artistic impressions of ancient crocodiles in your history books, your prehistory ancient okay. books, right? Yeah. They look like a modern day crocodile. Okay. Okay. So, but you one thing I'm you have thinking dragons, dinosaurs. I'm clumping all of that together, including this guy. So, but this is a completely different thing again. Like, <laughs> so, so, but this ancient crocodile form is what we call. Okay. Um, were yes, they true. They had a tail. They had four arms, and they had a like a long snout. But look, they were ginormous forms. They okay. were gigantic forms. The biggest reptile now living is the saltwater crocodile. Okay. But it, that that's a baby compared to some of the extinct forms. Okay. Right? Okay. Um, so morphologically, yes, we think they were because these are all what artists draw based on fossil evidence, right? No one has seen any of these. Okay. But I, the the interesting part is not how they look like; it's how they behave and mm -hmm. how they communicate. So some of the behaviors we think were 
have not changed down that track. Okay. Like looking after babies. So like among all the reptiles, yeah. crocodiles or crocodilians are one of they the... They eat them? No, they don't. So <laughs> oh, they, they eat that each other's joke. they eat others' babies too. Oh, that, that so, was supposed to be a joke. But they do. No, 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 no. Eat other, one other of the, children of other neighbours that live in the same pond as them. Cannibalism or eating their own kind is so common in crocodilians. But... Crocodiles are also one of the very few animal uh, reptile groups that protect their babies. And we think features like that comes from the dinosaur time. Jesus and also how they communicate. A discrimination. Exactly. Like my baby's safe, but your baby, I'm just going to eat it's for food. dinner. It's breakfast. food. It's snack. Hmm. Um, but also communication, like how they communicate with chemicals. Okay. We think some of these features have not changed down the track, but the how they look like, like if you see a lot of other ancient animals, like you can guess, okay, maybe that's an ancient elephant, right? Okay, okay maybe that's... Because they don't ancient. eat the children now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think elephants ever did that. Thank um, God for that. But yeah, so, uh, so, so the sharks and uh, crocodilians, it's not how they look like, it's how they behave okay. that has not changed. Okay, okay, got it. Okay. Thanks for answering that. So yeah, then welcome. on the topic of dinosaurs, Jesse from Brisbane, Australia, would love to ask you a question about whether we have had dinosaurs in Australia in ancient times. And if your answer is yes, would you get skeleton deposits and fossils in Australia? So it's very specific to this particular to Australia, time. Australia, she's from this one, eh? Yeah. Yeah, so Jesse, so yes, the uh, short answer is yes, we have had dinosaurs. Um, but it's not the common forms, the, not the brachiosaurus, not the T-Rex, not what you see in Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park, right? Okay. Not those sexy, big, Common names that we know. Yeah. We have had other things like Minimi, um, Ostrosaurus. Minimi. Minimi. That's that actually. Like uh, an enemy. Minimi. Minimi. It's Minimi. actually Minimi. it's 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 um it's named after the place. Um, oh, that's a really cool. Yeah, place. and um and uh, Roidosaurus. So they they had a lot of dinosaurs in Australia, and we have a rich. Is the Minimi like a tiny little dinosaur? No, it's actually one of the armed dinosaurs, armored dinosaurs rather, not armed. <laughs> um. So the. But but um, Eva, so when dinosaurs was dinosaurs were alive, yeah. Australia was not a continent, right? Yeah. When Earth was formed, it was this ginormous one landmass yeah. called Pangaea, yeah. which broke into two pieces. One was called Gondwana. Yeah. So what we call nowadays Australia, um, Antarctica, South America, Africa, they were all clumped together. Okay. So it was that landmass that dinosaurs lived, not okay. in Australia as per se. Okay. So. Um, and this was the era of the dinosaurs. We call it the Mesozoic era, which has like era is a huge geological time frame inside which you have the Triassic, the Jurassic, the Cretaceous, all these periods that we have heard of. Oh, so Jurassic Park is actually defining a period. It's a period. It's a it's a period. It's a it's part a of. It's a time time frame. It's a time period in the history. Okay, how right? many years are we talking about here? We are talking millions. So we are, the uh, Mesozoic was, if I'm right, about 250 to about 65 million years ago. Oh God, okay. Right, it's a so massive much, time much scale. Much, older than Australia. Absolutely. So massive, massive time scale. And during that time, yes, we have had dinosaurs. And where you live, so Brisbane, uh, Queensland, so, um, Queensland, um, uh, South Australia, um, New South Wales have fossil deposits, uh, but not those big skeletons like what you see in some of the foreign so you countries. Said silly years. What? What what did we have in the states that you've just mentioned? So um they're, they're, the they're, the the like um Queensland, South Australia, New South Wales have the uh, fossil deposits. Fossil deposits. Yeah, so so, uh, so, so fossils so fossil deposits meaning what kind of fossils did we have? Okay, so we, we have both like we have skeletal deposits. Where like bits and pieces of skeleton. Yeah. We have imprints. Yeah. We because a, a fossil deposit is when a dinosaur dies and get buried under under tons of um, uh, soil and it, it just solidifies, right? Okay. Um, if you go to places like Broome in Western Australia, you yep. have footprints of dinosaurs. That's, so cool. That's super That's cool. Really cool, right? So yeah. so yes, we have multiple evidence to show that dinosaurs have lived in what we call now Australia. Um, but they're not the typical big dinosaurs that we normally, that comes to mind. Okay. Oh, on the same note, a lot of those like T-Rex, um, your Triceratops, the one with three horns. Okay. None of them actually lived during the Jurassic period. 
So what you half of the dinosaurs? Advertising. Yeah. Don't don't learn any of this from Jurassic Park or from any other movies because it's all false. So yeah. So like the half of the cool dinosaurs you see in Jurassic Park. The producers of these films should be coming to you to get their background <laughs> research done properly before they produce these. Films, but but like, right? then again, like it's, it's misleading. But they, they but they lived in the Cretaceous, which was millions of years after. Mm. But Cretaceous Park wouldn't have sound that sexy either. Cretaceous Park. Yeah, whereas yeah, Jurassic Park has a grind to it. But um, that. yeah, but like. Uh, and, yeah. and you know they lost a whole part of the audience that came from your background, right? Because it's not me, guys. <laughs> like, we're not watching this. Crap All the nerds. Because it's not true. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we discussed in the first episode. We are yeah. going to do an episode. We are going to do an episode on blockbusters and yeah. biology. Yeah, that would be yeah, super yeah, cool. Well, that would be cool. That would yeah, be super let's cool. move to that. So there you go. That time. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Well, that answers uh, Jesse's question. So then. Let's move to the next one, and this one is cool. I w- would love to know the answer to this. Nalaka from Sri Lanka has Nalaka. written asking the question of what is primordial soup? Is it chicken soup? Is it tomato soup? Uh, is it edible? So is, the what are we talking early about? cavemen, yeah, they actually, they had like mammoth meat. And <laughs> said, they couldn't digest <laughs> any solid food, so they. <laughs> That could only eat <laughs> <soup>. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds like something from cavemen, right? Yeah. Primordial. Yeah. But it, it's not. It's this... Um, the digestive system wasn't developed <laughs> enough to have anything else. It. Oh, it, was like, it was like they were all sick and they could only have soup for breakfast. Like that, exactly. Like, but I don't think chicken exists that time. Um, but anyway, so <laughs> primordial <laughs> soup is this hypothetical set of conditions okay. of what we believe where life originated, right? So we think life originated in, in water, in the ocean, okay. right? So imagine, imagine Earth, millions for of millions non, of years. For the non-religious part of the audience. Absolutely. Right. So absolutely. Very, yeah. Very, very, yeah. So if you, if, if, you, if you believe in that, th- this happened during natural causes, Earth, millions of years ago, or actually billions of years ago, four billion years ago, okay. um, th- that's a long time ago, um, had... It was full, all these molecules were floating around in 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 an ocean like watery environment, right? Okay. And we believe that these molecules combined with energies from UV, that's uh, like from the sun and lightning and other forces mm-hmm. in nature to give rise to the building blocks of life. Okay. So that's that mix, that hypothetical set of conditions mm-hmm. is called the hypothetical. The primordial soup. Okay. Because so it's, it's a mix of a lot of things. So, uh, but because <laughs> I'm trying to imagine what it could look like, right? So I'm oh, imagining okay. the the liquid. So I'm I'm not sure about how it looked like because, as I said, this is all hypothesis. Yeah, I'm thinking soup. This is this is a, uh, the soup. The worst the soup comes from this mix because okay. we think there were all kinds of biomolecules floating okay. around. So right? they could have called it salad. <laughs> but if it is a salad, it would have been on land, whereas this is oh, in water. See that? Okay, there you go, right. because it's an aqu- aquatic environment. All right, we right? don't get it now. So, but but this is only one. Nalaka, this is one of the one explanations or hypothesis because no one knows for sure, right? Yeah. These are all hypotheses. Hypothesis mean like educational guesses okay. of how life originated. Whereas there's other views like okay, it was not that; it was gaseous molecules. Mm and using hydrothermal energy, which is like underwater volcanic uh, heat. That's how life originated. So these are all different versions of scientists explaining how life could have originated. So primordial soup in that sense is that early earth condition where life in a watery environment originated. Got it. There you go. Well, we could spend another episode talking about all of the other elements that go into that, including all the philosophical questions surrounding that. We should totally have, and we should have, you know what, we should have, because we should invite some big guns on these subjects. Yeah, Yeah, like invite, absolutely. Let's do that in future, yeah. Yep. Yep. Wicked. Looking forward to that. And then the last question that we have, we'll go into Arun from the UK. So we're getting questions from all around the world. That's awesome. That's awesome. Really, really good. Yeah, please keep on sending um, questions. In all those means that I sent, uh, said before? Yep. Yep, yep. We've got an expert here, and if he doesn't know the answer, he will draw in from other sources. We will. Dear Dr. Ru, given that the deep ocean is the least explored place on Earth, is it possible that ancient animals like megalodons still mm. live in the deep parts of the oceans? And before you answer the question, please explain to me and others, what is a megalodon? Right, so... Um, 
Okay, so Megalodon, you, you pronounce it well. Well done. <laughs> you, 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 you did well. Um, Megalodon was this extinct giant shark. Okay. Freaking big, huge. Shark. Right? So just to give, just to put comparison, we believe that, okay, fossil evidences, evidence estimated to be about 18 meters long. Okay. And 18 meters long is roughly what, a school bus, right? Yeah, like a long bus. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So the, the largest fish living now is the whale shark, mm. right? And that... I've been, I've been snorkeling with the whale shark, but okay. there's a small baby one. Gorgeous. In Australia? Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, so what, what, what you get in Australia gorgeous. are the juveniles. The, the adults from <laughs> I saw all of the juvenile. Exactly. So, but, but but it's still that's big, right? Beautiful. Exactly. So what you get here like about five meters, but imagine something about four times that size, right? Yeah. So and and it's a shark, like whale sharks yeah, yeah, don't yeah. eat you, whereas yeah. these things will have you for snacks. Now, Megalodon. Lucky they don't exist anymore, hey? That's that, is that the question? Like, well, the why question they don't is, exist? Is it possible that they still live? In the deep parts of the ocean. So the question is, do they still exist? Okay, so we just might not know. The uh, whole is it Arun? Uh, Arun, yes. Okay, I think Arun has watched that movie Meg, um, um, Jason, um, where a couple of megalodons comes from the Mariana Trench and start eating um, people going swimming. Anyway, so again, don't listen to what the movie show. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> the facts that they quote <laughs> in the movie. So something that so so short answer. I don't think it's out there. And why? Because if you take the fossil evidence, megalodons, the fossil evidence of megalodons go extinct about 2.5 million years ago. That's a long time. It comes and it stops. Okay. There's no megalodon stuff after that, okay. right? So they're gone. Um, if they exist, the number of the direct evidence, the, the direct observation, the chance of directly seeing something that big yep. nowadays is yep. huge, right? You know how yeah, much. Well, We've got right. robotics now that are being used by many corporates to go deep, deep, deep underwater. Absolutely. We've got capabilities that we've never had before. Satellite technology. That too. Right? Yeah. We, we, we monitor the ocean. Sound but, sonic. Oh, absolutely. And and then the amount of cargo, military, passenger, research vessels out there, mm -hmm. something that big, the chances are we would have seen. Okay. If not even directly. What about Antarctica? Because we haven't really explored that. True, deep true. Down Look, in Antarctica, right? true. As I'm saying, like I'm just putting the odds of it. Yeah. Like the okay, even if we have not seen it directly, yeah. indirectly. So oh, yeah, with the fossils, the, the, the yeah, the fossils, yeah. and and not only that, like say, uh, one way of detecting the presence of animals is indirect evidence, right? So those are not like directly seeing an animal, but mm -hmm. signs of it existing. Mm -hmm. So something that big would be eating big stuff mm -hmm. like whales, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we should be seeing half-eaten chunks of baby whales or whales floating around or beach washed. Yeah. Which we haven't. Like yeah. we, we have seen dead things with marks, but nothing chopped in half. Okay. Something that big would be eating whales. And that's what, in fact, that's what we believe they ate back in the day. Got it. They Not vegetarians. Whales. Exactly. For those so, so chances of something that big existing out there is, is I, 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 my hunch is that they're not there. However, in um, just, just to develop on that, so to give some context, um, in biology, we talk about a group called Lazarus taxa. Okay. Lazarus taxa. Taxa means a group of animals, right? Okay. Lass what that means is animals that have these fossil records developing, 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 immediately stops. Or like it stops, right? And then after a gap, all of a sudden something pops up. Okay. Right? That, that's like, okay, imagine seeing a T-Rex running around now, right? Like we thought it's extinct, but... Maybe he's holy, asleep. Okay, yeah, right. there's, there's one, you know? right? To exactly. From so, house. so, <laughs> but that that kind of taxa, had, that kind of animals actually have existed, and one of the best examples for that is the silicanth. So, silicanth is this ancient animal that okay. we uh, fish, yeah, that we think we thought went extinct about sixty million years ago. Okay. Right. That so the fossil records comes. This is a weird fish. Like it's it has these lobed fins. It's not. You know, a normal fish, the fins would start immediately from the body. Yeah. These guys have these short limbs at the end where there's... Um, so imagine like something with short legs at the end, there are um, there are fins. Okay. Right? So it's a very weird fish. Okay. And it lives in the deep ocean and um, in the... Because it needs to crawl on the... That's what the baby looks like. They actually yeah. crawl close Is to the bottom. Is it like the, the crawling walking to, uh, sharks? It, exactly. So, so we still have living fish that actually yeah, have that yeah, yeah. feature. 
Yeah. But this guy had eight fins, and then it's 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 it, it looks primordial. Yeah. Um, okay. Sounds like you know Indonesia has like little sisters and and cousins of all of these people. So lo- look, so this this guy, so they were diving under underwater in Indonesia. Abs- very possible. And and since you mentioned Indonesia. There's two species now we know, mm. one from Africa, one from Sulawesi, Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. So, so okay. these guys, so fishermen caught this one in the 1930s all of a sudden and then we, we know that, oh wow, they didn't went extinct 60 million years ago, they're here. Mm. But just going back to Megalodon, the Silacanth is a small animal, okay. easy to evade, it's yeah. a deep water living species. So something like Megalodon, No. I would love to see one, yeah. I would absolutely love to see a megalodon I at don't. a distance you know what you can go on diving with my <laughs> gadalons my dagalons i can't even say the word i'm gonna stick to my walking shops in indonesia <laughs> and my beautiful anemones and clownfish into the tropics where the fish have no teeth or legs to chase after me i don't think they'll be cage diving they need the whole boat <laughs> like yeah yeah, that's, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. That's big yeah 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 um but that, that's an awesome question cool that's awesome Awesome. Well, you've answered the questions for this evening's session. Thank you. And thanks, thanks, everyone, for submitting all of the questions for us. Thank you. And, yes, yeah, subscribe to Zootopica. Um, we'll join with another topic next week, and both from Eva and myself. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>